surprise Wanda here and I am going to be doing a cute little spider web with a spider from a pendant yay Katie's going to jump on here in a minute with me and we're going to have some killer fun surprise fun and uh, hopefully we'll get a little bit of a crowd here if not it'll be on YouTube probably tomorrow and everybody else can catch up so Hello, Lydia. Nice to see you. I gotta try to find me over here. Oops, there are the notifications. <laughs> Oops. I'm sorry. Okay, those are off. Hi, Allison. So this is just a, an easy spider web with a spider, but it's gonna be a, a bling bling spider. You know, not your average spider. <laughs> I'm just trying to find me on Facebook on my iPad so I can see the comments. Hi, Heather. And find Miss Katie. There I am. Okay. Oh, I need to turn the volume down. Okay. Oh, I need to turn the volume down. Oh, see, there's like a five second delay there. <laughs> See, there's like a five second <laughs> How do I turn it down? Anybody know? Do you guys got my remote? <laughs> okay, I got it. Okay, come on, Katie. So, here's what we're going to be using tonight. So, if y'all are wanting to hang out, you can or want to paint. Um, Arteza has some mica powders. You don't need to use Arteza, just any kind of light, transparent mica powder. It can be, you know, a chameleon powder, but like the Baranos are like, grrr, in your face. You know, they're high pigment. So they'll cover up what the black underneath and change the whole color. So we just want to have a dusting of color, if that makes sense. And um, we're also using Savvy Land Black. Uh, UV painting gel. You don't need to use painting gel. You can use black polish um, for this if you want. Um, I'm also using the Homost set that I used the other night. These are the cat's eye polishes that come in this set. Um, some top coat. I'm going to be using resin to build up to make a dome here on this one. What else? Dun, dun, dun. I don't know. Uh, Posca. Seriously, this is just off the cuff. So I'm going to be doing it as we go along. I don't know where Miss Katie is. We tested it, Tom. She should be. Do you guys see her on? Hi, Lori and Patsy. Oh, here she is. Yay. Okay, add. Hi, Robin. Why is this adding to me? Hey. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. I was checking the weather since we've got some hurricane. situations going on. I mean, not hurricane. Tornado. Yeah. We got tornado warning. So if we do get kicked off, it's probably the weather tonight. It's tornado watch for us. Um, yeah. Blanco County is the only one that's warning. So hopefully we're good. Yeah. Right on. All right, so we're going to start by lining our spider web. There is no traceable. This is, I'll show you real quick how I did it. Um, and then we're just going to start lining it with uh, black Posca. So I made a dot in the corner of my rock. So Katie has more of a square rock. So if you're working with something like that, um, you can do it the same way. So you just start in one corner to the other and draw a line from your dot. And then you want to go to the bottom and draw a line. And then the other side and draw a line. Okay. 
and then in between these two, add a line. And these are going through your dot out the other side. So you have a full kind of corner web there. And then in between these two, draw your line. And then to add the web, you do like uh, lazy C's. So like hammocks all the way around each little section. And then you kick it out a little ways. So I've got here. And you go all the way around. And then each time you go out, you get a little bit farther away. And you can take it off the edge of your rock if you want to. I think I want to take mine out to the off the edge of my rock. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and line here with the pocket. I don't do very straight lines, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm using my ruler. I was going to do that, but mine always smears every time I do that. It's like drags my paint. <laughs> yeah, so. I'm kind of doing some of it and then just freehanding some of it. So they're spider webs, you know, they blow in the wind. Yeah. <laughs> so mine will be saggy spider web. Kind of like, well. <laughs> Just stop while you're ahead. All right. <laughs> it is, what is this, a Wednesday? This is Wednesday. Yeah, cool. I know, I've lost the days. I want mine to go around my rock this time. I had a little vision with this, so I never see my art. That's why I trace a lot, because I don't get ideas like the average bear does. So when I kept seeing spider the other day, and I don't necessarily like spiders, but I think that there are some beautiful spiders in the world. And here in Texas, we have one called the wolf spider, which I'm sure you guys probably have too up there. So they're called huntsman spiders, but they carry their babies on their back. Hundreds of them at a time. And you can't really see that those are babies on their back. So if you come, you know, face to face with one who's carrying her babies around, um, she just looks like a really fat spider, right? With like bumps all over. So that's what this is kind of representing here. And then if you touch it or she panics, they explode. <laughs> I don't mean like they pop and their guts fall out. I mean like little spiders go everywhere. And it is the freakiest thing you'll ever see, especially if you're not expecting it. If you've never seen a spider do that before, when you watch one drop their babies like that, and then the ba it's it's like something you would see in a horror movie, you know? <laughs> so, hi, Aaron and Martino, or Merlin. Um, who else is with us? So do you guys know what kind of spider I'm talking about? So I'm not necessarily drawing that spider or painting that spider tonight, but it just sort of reminded me of that. And we have that they're huge here. Like they get big, big. Don't they, Katie? Yes. <laughs> I had to load up another um, thing here to be able to see the comments. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got mine on my iPad and the TV too. Oh, let me turn the volume down or I'm going to be hearing myself talk. I was just doing that too. <laughs> Hi, Susan. So, we're channeling Halloween Spider. <laughs> Those big, pretty spiders that you see, like, kind of around the house that are up on the webs, don't they call those banana spiders? Oh, yeah. I I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, but they're argopi. Argopis. Yeah, they're black with yellow. Yeah. They are gorgeous. 
you know, those are fun. You can throw like whole uh, grasshoppers in their web and they'll get them real fast. Like they'll like psh, get them and then spin them <laughs> right then and there. They just wow. all, the way, all the way mummified. It's so cool to watch. Like those big grasshoppers I'm talking about, you know, locust size, <laughs> big daddies. <laughs> so I don't we have some tarantulas about. too. Well, yeah. I haven't seen too many here, but my mom gets gets them in Lockhart. So, yeah, I know they have the migration through Texas, right? They yeah, I think so. Through, yeah. Yeah, we're so blessed with that stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's just wonderful. Right? Add it to the list of scary, fuzzy things. <laughs> oh, yeah. Aaron, you hands down win the prize for scary bugs <laughs> in Australia. <laughs> Your huntsman puts ours to shame. <laughs> so, yeah. Hands down. Yeah, I don't even have no room to even talk. <laughs> Tell us about your spider. <laughs> Don't you guys have the world's most poisonous, biggest spider there? <laughs> I, I'm not a, a great drawer either, so this is kind of one of those imagined webs. And the funny thing is, the Huntsman Spider would never be in a web. <laughs> so, just, you know, they don't even use them like that. <laughs> They're ground hunters. They're more of like pounce on you, jump on you, and eat you with their big old crazy jaw mandibles. Seriously. Same like a tarantula. They don't live in a web. And snakes and spiders. Yep. We have those stupid ants here that eat your house. They're not termites, but they're they look like, you know, well, they don't even, they look, they're ants, but they will eat your house like a termite. They're like red. They look like fire ants. And they do bite, by the way. Look at her. She's a whipping it out <laughs> again. Whip it. Whip it good. Crack that whip. Dun, dun, dun. Whip it. A whip is good. Dun, dun, dun. Thicken mine a little bit here. Just these, um, the main strings. Yes, Devo. Mm -hmm. I'm just erasing my lines that I didn't end up following here and there. Gotcha. Oop, one more or two I don't know <laughs> now I gotta clean all these eraser shavings off oh I, I hate that when they get all over my desk 
I have somewhere a paintbrush I keep, like a stiffer, <clears throat> more firm paintbrush that I keep to brush off the desk. I can't get them off my mat without wiping them. Yeah, I gotta get a baby wipe on the mat myself. <laughs> or alcohol. So, before we get started with whoever we have on, I want to preface this video with, we are going to be using some cool stuff, probably stuff that you don't have, but don't feel like you have to go buy it. We're just doing cool stuff, having fun, showing you some techniques, but you don't have to go buy this stuff. Yeah. What she said. <laughs> <laughs> definitely we have stuff that we've had for a while and we need to work through it because every you know things have shelf lives so exactly especially if it's any kind of resin base um nail UV. glue any of that yeah hi sherry hi belinda yeah. it all has a shelf life so we got to use it use it or mm -hmm. lose it man Okay, so here's my idea with the spider. I want it kind of in the corner like so. This is going to be the body. And then we're going to have a head like so. Oh, I don't have a head. Hold on. That's okay. Get your head. Get your head out of here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I think I only have one of those. That's okay. Cool. Don't mess it up. Right? <laughs> so something like this maybe and then we're going to make the legs um you know we're going to kind of do a 3d thing with um resin and either builder gel or uv polish so it's going to be kind of cool and fun and we're going to be using like i said the homost homost or homost i don't know how to pronounce it so Apologize if I'm offending anybody. I don't mean to. <laughs> um, and this color, they don't have names. So it's like the purple gold. Yeah. And I'm going to put my gloves on so that I don't ruin my fingers. But anyways, it's this color right here. Did a little sample here. And we're going to build the body with resin. We're going to make it domed. And then we're going to do a cat's eye little treat in the middle. Yay, fun stuff, fun stuff. Woo. All right, let me grab the gloves. Now I have a song in my head. <laughs> so do you think we should put our body on there, like attach it? Like tack it down now? So it doesn't move around? Yeah, I think so. Okay. What are you going to attack it with? You know, Top I'm not coat. sure. Um, well, I was thinking that, but it's so big that um, it won't cure underneath it. You know what I mean? Oh. So I think we should use like a tack it or a something. And then when we... You know what? We can we we can use a top coat really thin though under it, and then in around these parts. You know what I mean? Yeah. The light will get there, so that'll put it on there, right? Okay. Okay. I'm Let not going to be resining my whole rock though. You're what? I'm not going to be resining my whole rock. I'm just going to be no. putting the top coat on the legs and the the bit the web. No, I think I think that should work, right? So, what are you going to use? Top coat or nail gel? Hey, do you have the um, you know the rhinestone glue? I have the drill gel. Yeah, use that. Use that instead of the top coat. Yeah, it's it's way better uh, adhesive. I mean, it, mine's sort of. It's the same. It's a five in one. So I'm just going to. And I'm going to use the flashlight with that one. Yeah.
Sticky, sticky, sticky. <laughs> Where you drop it, it shall sit. <laughs> now it's not going to cure like up under it. Hopefully it'll grab some around the legs. I'm just trying to make it grab, but we can drop. You don't have Bondic, right? Nope. That's one thing Ooh, I don't that have. Did, that did grab it pretty good on from my end. Did. Yeah, my jar is like stiff. <laughs> it's hard to squeeze. <laughs> my hands are so weak. Are you putting some in the holes? I, yeah, I'm painting it around in there. We can actually um, use resin like in dots later if we wanted and make like gems in there. It'd be kind of pretty. If it gives us trouble moving around, you know? Yeah. You could just glue it on with like a probably a tacket or a, a glue, just any glue, Gorilla Glue. Like E6000 e or something? Yeah. Yes, I just don't have them handy. So I'm being lazy. Hi, Julie and Belinda. Sorry, we just totally jumped on here. <laughs> no notice. I just called Katie. I'm like, hey, you want to go on? Sorry. I'm curing my fingers so I don't get it everywhere. Yeah, don't do this either. You could burn yourself. That stuff gets hot. All right, I'm actually going to pop mine in my light for 30 seconds just to make sure it's not sticky. Make sure you don't get your uh, brush in the light. And make sure you clean your brush if you used a brush for the glue. Cause you will. Oh, I used a disposable. Good girl. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I rather just get disposables and I just not you know, chance these it. Little, these little brushes that come with the um, pots of rhinestone glue. Yeah. The ones with the red handle. I just grab those when I use stuff like that. See, I already have this stuff all over me, girl. I know me too. So I just use alcohol on these black gloves. It um, doesn't go through. So it's pretty easy to clean up and then grab a towel and wipe up. Don't use a lot of alcohol. You don't want to poison yourself. You know, the air is not yeah. good to breathe alcohol. <laughs> You're welcome, Julie. I hope the video was helpful. Okay, that is done. It seems pretty solid there. Cool. So we're going to start inside there on top of the black with the this polish. <laughs> and are you still curing, Katie? Sorry, I don't want to get ahead. Oh, maybe we should put our spider head on there, huh? Ooh, I got my spider way up there. <laughs> In the corner. 
Oh, whoops. <laughs> Maybe I should do mine this way, huh? Since I, no, because I got big old back legs. Oh, no, Katie. What? Oh, I got my spider way up here. My uh -oh, legs I did the same off. thing because I was copying you. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Oh, well, it'll it'll be fine. Our spider will be going off the edge of the... So now we're going to have to figure something out over here. I don't know, maybe. Happy, boo, happy Halloween, something. Boy, that wasn't thinking very good ahead, was I? All right. You want to put the head on, too? Should we? Do you want me to use that same stuff? I think so. Or... What do you think? Top coat for this one would probably be okay. Or, this one. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Cause that other gel stinks so bad. Okay. <laughs> uh, Julie, no, no buying anything. Yep, not not <laughs> buying anything. Nope. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be using some things that I'm sure you don't have. So, but don't rush out and buy it because I'm not sure we're going to keep using it. Okay, we're using up things that we have already, like Arteza mica powders, uh, Savvy Land Gel. I've used these before. It's LED UV. Uh, painless. <laughs> Sometimes the description on these things is hilarious. <laughs> Anyways, um, it comes in a kit like this. I'm not asking you to buy it. I'm not telling you to buy it, but just so you know, it comes in a six pack like so, but we're using the black color. And this is very, very thick, like gooey, very thick. And then the Homo set I showed you, you guys saw these the other day. They're the cat's eye in the polish, the bottle, not the pot. Okay, and I am using the purple. Are you talking to me? No. Okay. No, my eye was itching and I couldn't touch my face. So I went over there to Jeremy and was like, itch my eye, itch my eye. He's like, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to picture this because y'all know her husband's blind, right? <laughs> he just put his fist out and I started rubbing my eye on his fist. I love you guys. <laughs> Because we're testing, Julie. Testing, testing. This Go is not to... something to run out and buy if the, if we don't like it. Right. Yeah, don't buy nothing um, yet. Let us finish, <laughs> and then you can make a choice. Are you doing the legs first, or? No, I think I'm going to do the body, cure okay. it, and then um, make sure I don't want to dig my thing off the rock before I put the legs on it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so seriously, I'm just going to paint right inside the pendant. This stuff is so pretty. It is gorgeous. It makes me wish that I liked painting my nails, but my hands are in water and stuff so much, I just don't see the point. I don't even have any fingernails, so... I keep I mine trimmed because they just peel. They're not very strong. Yeah, I used to wear um, false nails a lot, you know, tips and. Yeah. Well, they used to be acrylic. Now they're everything but that. <laughs> um, anyways, all of this stuff was just coming out when I quit using them about 10 years ago. The UV products, they were just using a UV top coat too. It was regular polish and then they would use the UV top coat and you get under the big light. Okay. Probably enough of that. All right. So we are going to use this um, 
the other night I showed you guys some magnet tools that um, I raise up a bit to play around with the cat's eye polishes. So we're going to use this one. It's just a round post. And I'm going, we're going to use it right in the center and make like a black hole. It's hard for it to show on camera. Yeah, you got to get a little closer. There you go. Yeah. And then here, if you, <clears throat> if you wanted to make it big, like elongate it, just move your magnet up a bit and then down a bit. Just not a lot, but see how you make it like a oval. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, like that. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> so now we're going to cure it. Hurry, it's going back. Yeah, cure it quick. What are you doing? Cure it. <laughs> I had to put it back. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you have to cure them really fast or they'll, you know, the um, metals will go, they'll start moving around. And then on top of this, we're going to use resin. Do you want to do another layer and give it some, um, like even a bigger 3D effect? We can. Okay. Yeah. So make this one thinner, just like a real thin coat. And then do the same thing again. Cool, huh? Now look, it already looks like there's like, like you could put your finger in it. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> These are called 9D, by the way nine the number nine and then the letter d nine d cat tie polish and i think it's because you can make them i guess more than 3d <laughs> it looks like you could just walk into that looks like an eye look at that yeah cat's eye <laughs> well not quite cat's eye but okay cure that a little bit and then we're going to make a resin dome let me get my mask out real quick. Yeah. Me too. I'm going to be using, you guys need to wear your respirator, but I'm going to be using the N95 just so you can hear me. Okay, mask on. Um... J Diction. You have J Diction, Katie? Yes, ma'am. Okay. In the middle. Start in the middle and then build out. Don't squeeze your bottle either if you don't have to, because it'll come out. You know what I mean? Just let it come out naturally. Yeah, and we're going to do this in two layers. So we're going to do that and then torch it. So you basically fill it straight up level with the <clears throat> bezel. See, straight up level with the bezel. And then that goes in the big light for one cycle, one long cycle. So it's like two minutes. How does that look? Yes. Oh, no, the edges. Make it touch all the way around your, you can just take a toothpick all the way around the edges, you know, or your poker tool or whatever, and it'll connect it to the rim of the bezel. Oh, I don't have a toothpick. 
you know, your pokey tool or even a, a dotting tool, just take it right around the edges of the inside of your bezel and it'll connect it all. Or just torch it and see if it touches the edges. Oh, wait. I got something. Hold on. Be right back. Okay. <laughs> okay. I got to clean my brush real quick. <laughs> Julie. <laughs> I found something oh, earlier that I didn't know I have. Oh. And I think I got it from Dollar Tree. Oh, yes, you did. That's the picker tool for the cricket. <laughs> yes. Julie, that's the name. Homost. Homogenized. No, you didn't hear me wrong, but it was, there's an ST on the end of that. Okay. It's homost. And I don't know if it's homost or homost. I don't know. It's an Asian company. Oh no, my paint's on there. <laughs> That's the watercolor I made for the little video earlier. <laughs> That's too funny. Is that this better? is a quarter pan. Eeks. Let me see. Yeah. Gouda. Okay, pop it in your big light. Since it's resin, you, it won't cure with the little flashlight. No, I, I torched it. Yeah, no, I'm just letting them know out there. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, we have an audience. I forgot. Yeah, <laughs> like there's more than us tonight. Come on. <laughs> yes, it's 9D nail polish. Correct. Thanks, Julie. <laughs> All right. After one or two cycles, we can add the second domed layer. That is so cool looking. I shouldn't have touched it though. <laughs> That's okay. You know, in this layer, you can add things too if you want to build up in your body. Like if you wanted to put glitter and suspend them or rhinestones or anything you want to be like encapsulated. So little beads, like Katie has some caviar beads or that would be so cool. We should put some caviar beads in there, huh? I don't know if I, I don't think I have those, but I have other things. <laughs> I think some chunky glitter would be cool in there. Oh, yeah, that would be fun. Oh, hello. I want to use these. Don't you have these? You have these, right? Yeah. I don't, you can use glitter too. I just, I think I want to use these. I never use them. They come with, um, like, the glitter or the rhinestone sets you buy with all different ones in them. But they're like little tiny uh, crystals. So I think I'm just gonna put some in there or no. <laughs> Do you guys think no or yes? <laughs> Katie might use glitter. We don't have to do it the same. Yeah. Aren't they cool looking? They're like little diamonds. Look at that. You see? But they're crystals. They're like cut and everything, like a cut diamond looking. So I'm just going to dump some in there if I can get them in there. Oh my God, they went everywhere but in there. Holy heck. That is too funny. Well, because the builder gel has an inhibition layer, it's sticky around there until we seal it. <laughs> so they are all stuck in there. That's okay. It's not that bad looking. Never mind. <laughs> I can't get them in there. So I guess we could scoop them with the scoop, huh? Yeah. This thing. Yeah. I don't want them like in the center. So I'm going to put them kind of just. 
sporadically out here. I love you, Lori. Dump them. Use them all. All of it. Yeah, Lori, you have us saying that even when we're not on, we'll be like, use all of it or do all of it. <laughs> yep, every last bit. <laughs> Actually, I think I am going to put some in the middle. It's pretty. Look at how pretty that is. Hopefully, we don't lose too many facets with the resin. You never know. But even if, it's still going to be pretty. You totally don't have to do this, Katie. You can do glitter or nothing, whatever you feel like. Hi, Lorraine. Hi, welcome, Lorraine. So glad you could... Be with us tonight. So a little like that. These ones in here, I'm just going to leave them in there, even though. <laughs> or maybe I can dig them with my... Hold on, let me see if I can operate. You know that game operation where you take the big tweezers and go in and pull out the organs? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. So these are the little uh, babies, right? That I was talking about. The exploding wolf spider babies. <laughs> that doesn't live in a web but we're putting her in a web because this is my spider mm -hmm. so should we do a whole bunch of them though or should we just do these sparsely I don't know what do you think I don't know I think I'm going to do what Lori said <laughs> dump them all in there no mm -hmm. not all of them no, not all. There's too many. I think I'm going to kind of do this. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Now I wish I did glitter. Oh, tonight we just did it spur of the moment. This isn't our regular scheduled live. Wanda made me do it. <laughs> yeah, we just, we popped. I don't even know what time we started, actually. Because <laughs> usually we're 7.30 on Fridays. 7.30 p.m. Central on Fridays is usually when we go on. Um, I'll be on uh, this Friday. I don't know about next Friday. Katie's, I'm sure, going to have some big, fun stuff to do, so definitely. I'm kind of getting have... tired of the fall Halloween stuff, though. Yeah, take but a break from it. Do something I don't, different. I'm not ready for Christmas either, though, so I don't know. Well, it doesn't have to be holiday theme. You could just do something you're feeling, you know, like, I don't know. Uh, what are you feeling? I don't know. I've been, I've been looking for ideas on Pinterest, but of course, it goes by what you've been looking at. And mm -hmm. since I've been doing fall and Halloween, that's all I'm getting. <laughs> yeah, me too. 
I could use some you... ideas, ladies and gentlemen, if there's a gentleman. Is Matt on? I don't know. Oh, no, it was Merlin. Yeah. Merlin, you on still? No, we're just on sporadically here and there, except for Fridays. We're on every Friday. Unless, you know, something happens. Right. Emergencies or technical difficulties. <laughs> yes. Because we do have families. Yes. So you never know. Okay, so I'm going to go with that. What do you think? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Now we're probably going to lose some of the facets. Hopefully not all. So now we're doing resin again? Yeah, and this is going to be a dome layer. So we're going to get bubbles because of the glitter and stuff. So we want to watch for that, okay? So you got your pokey tool, right? If we got to yeah. pop bubbles. Okay. Because we might have to stir it around and make sure the bubbles come to the top so that we can torch them. This is going to be a domed layer. So you want to take it to the edges, but don't let it spill over. And then we're going to make it like a bubble. And I'm going to pick it up so you guys can see. I'm going to change the angle of my camera and hope that I don't spill it. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me see if I can do it and hold it and get it to focus. Can you see that dome on there, Katie? Yeah. About like that. Actually, I don't see any bubbles in there. So I got to set it down so that I can look straight into it. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna carefully put that into my big light without spilling it. <laughs> and we'll watch it cook. Isn't that pretty? We have a legless spider. <laughs> Hi, Deanie. Who else we got here? Lori, Lorraine, Julie, Allison, Margie. Hi. If I'm missing anyone, I'm sorry. Every time I touch my screen to see who's on. Hi, Belinda. It takes me back to the beginning. <laughs> so I have to scroll through 500 comments. And my iPad is totally frozen on like the very first image or still of the video. So iPads are still having troubles. Yeah. You've been but, having problems with that every time. See? <laughs> the iPad is frozen. The comments are current. But the, that is the very first shot we had on this live. So. Deborah, we just popped on. It wasn't planned or anything. It was just something fun we were talking about and we decided to go in the group and do it. <laughs> Hi, Jeannie. <laughs> it's cool, huh? This is, I was like, totally excited about this one so I couldn't wait <laughs> all right that was one cycle I'm just gonna check it okay needs another round so we gotta go another another cycle I gotta turn on my little fan sorry just for a minute hot flash <laughs> <clears throat> now I got to deal with glitter on my mat again. Oh no. I know I had those little rhinestones every I just scooped them off there. Now they're all over my floor, but thankfully I have a vacuum. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, fun. So the next thing we're going to be using is the Savvy Land Black um, Painless. <laughs> I don't know why it says that. Like, is it painful? <laughs> There's some I mean, that might be painful. It might, for me, it would be, I'd have big blisters if I used this actually on myself. But um, yeah, Painless Nail Painting Gel. <laughs> Too funny. And a lining brush. And uh, I want, I think I'm going to grab a longer lining brush, not a, not like this size. See, not like that big. If you want to see the difference here, one in between the two. So, and I lost the, don't throw away the tops to your brushes. Like these, it saves this your brushes. One, is this one okay? Or is that um, too short? It's a little short, but because we're going to be drawing the legs, which are longer, so. And that's too long, isn't it? No, that's actually mm, probably about right or even a little short. I know. I'm nuts. Hold on. Okay. And here's the one I'm looking for. That's the in between. See this one? It's like, what, three quarters of an inch in length? That's too long, right? Not for me, but if it is for you, use whatever size you're comfortable with. But I like to go with the longer ones when I'm doing longer legs. It just seems like I get more control, or longer lines. It seems more, I get more control that way, but that's me, you know, not, it's not for everyone. This is the one I was using earlier when we did it. Remember when I showed you the leg? This one. So this is, see, it's not much longer. It's just, but if I was, I'll show you guys the measurement so you guys can see what I'm talking about here. If we're talking inches. Oh, come here. So this one is just over half an inch, but less than three quarters. Was that two thirds? I don't know. Terrible at math. And this one is just about a half inch. Oh my gosh. Lordy. Okay, here. Not Lordy. Lordy. <laughs> so that one's about that long and that one's about that long. These are actually made centimeters wise, so it should be like a one centimeter. Yeah. So it's one centimeter for this one. This one should be a one and a half. Okay, and I don't know if you remember, but these will be available soon just to start 10 sets. These are fun, great brushes. This is like almost the three quarters of an inch. Yeah, that's good. That's this one is too. Get just almost there. It's like one tenth short. But if you're on, if you're not comfortable with it, that's totally, I'm just, I don't, well, I don't know if I am or not. <laughs> <laughs> this is very thick gel. So let me show you here. I'm shaking in my boot. Okay. So see how thick this gel is? Yours might be less thick than mine. Mine's older than yours. But if you needed to thin them out, you could use top coat. Mine is still sealed. Oh, hey, the best way to unseal that is with a, an exacto knife because it it's messy. I'm going to stir my stuff here. Oh, yeah, they have 91% alcohol everywhere now. Yep. Um, yeah, I get mine, uh, Walmart and Walgreens and Sam's Club usually is where I get it, but yeah, get Sam's has, has a two pack that big bottle, just a couple, couple bucks too. <laughs> yeah. Huge bottles. Oh, I pulled my blade out. All right. So, you know what, before I start this, I'm going to, let's draw out our legs. 
<laughs> Real quick, you want to sketch out the legs so we kind of know where we're mapping them out here. Did you see my final? Beauty mess. Where's my pencil? Okay. I'm trying to picture my spider legs. I can't see them in my head anymore, Katie. Oh my gosh, they're gone. My head is not on straight. I just realized I did it kind of <laughs> over to the right a little bit. I'm sorry. Katie, your head's not on straight? No, nope, it's my spider head. You didn't read mine, look. See, it's all cocked to the side here. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so legs, I got to do mine weird because I got, I'm a little way up here on my rock. Let's see. No. Okay, I need the eraser already. Hold on. So I'm actually going to start down here a little bit, like at this. Where? That's not going to work. Hang on, Katie. Just wait for me to mess around for a minute, okay? Okay. So the front ones are going to have to be closer to the face, right? Something like that. Then I'm terrible. I need a picture of a spider. Uh, something like that, maybe. <laughs> they should be closer. I know. Eh. Oh, well. Okay, let's see. What do we think? Not too bad, Katie? Those legs yeah. are terrible. Do they need to be longer? But I'm just going to be off my rock there. I'm going to be off my rocker. Yeah. <laughs> I say let's go for it. Okay. It's, it doesn't have to be perfect. Nope. Okay, so for the legs, what I want to do, I'm going to show them just a little sample here. I want like joints. So I'm going to start where I want the joint and then pull it to a point. And then the next joint is going to start and then pull that to a point. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So that's how the joints are going to connect. So if you want to see how I'm grabbing it, see how it's a big blob at the end?
So I'm going to start down here. Give her some, she's healthy thighs, yep. <laughs> So obviously I'm not following my own lines here. <laughs> I'll be erasing those in a little bit. <laughs> nice, Katie. Gorgeous. I don't know. They look like cricket legs to me. Yeah. You know, tarantulas have big old knee joints, so <laughs> they're, this isn't the tarantula, but um, huntsmen's and wolf spiders have big beefy legs, too. I think I'm going to add a Hi, Jim. Hi, Betty. So cool. I kind of wish they had more legs. <laughs> like another set. Oh. Now flash lighter. Um yeah, I think we could probably use our flashlight, but let's clean our brush first so we don't, oh, you already did. Let me clean my brush first so I don't cure it. <laughs> now this, this product also has an inhibition layer on it, so it's sticky after you cure it. You can't test it by the stickiness. Um, in order to remove the sticky layer, you would have to use alcohol to rub it, but that would 
mess up our paint job. So we're not going to do that. We're going to go right over it with top coat. So we're going to cure this for one cycle. Oh, thanks, Jan. You know what? That's right. I can add more legs, right? He's my spider. I love you, Jan. <laughs> thanks, Jeannie. Okay, so we are going to be using bum, 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 the mica powder um, on the legs sparsely. Um, when I'm the one, the mica powder that I picked out, I'm hoping that it's transparent, like we can kind of see through it. And on my, when I was testing out the colors over here, it's this one right here. So you can still see the black through it. But you can see the mica powder on top. And that's actually this one right here. Visca. And then this one <clears throat> is this one. So I don't know yet. Oh, I forgot to do the little mandibles. <laughs> Oops. Maybe I'll just draw those in. Little Pasco. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to be using top coat on top of this one. So for this, you can use a fluffy brush, your finger, a Q-tip, whatever you use to buff your chrome. So I think for today, I'm just going to use a little brush, like a little one, since these are small spots. And I'm going to actually work with just the powder in my lid because I don't want very much color. Does that make sense? So there's just a little bit in the cap. See there's barely any on my brush. Can you see that? Just barely any. Katie, I love your spider. Thank you. And I'm just going to barely dust it at the elbow joint or the knuckle joints, whatever you want to call it. See how there's more color there. Just barely dust it and then buff it with my finger. Like that. Hi, Helen. So you're just giving the effect of shiny black legs, right? So they're still black, but they shine. Gives it that depth, the height. So just at the knee joint and then buff it down with your finger at the knuckle like that. Or it's your spider. I mean, if you, you know, if you want to do the whole thing. <laughs> Fun. I'm going to use the Posca here.
something like that. <laughs> Phyllis, as long as they don't move, you're good. Well, I was telling a story about our fun spiders here, Phyllis. Uh, the They don't live in webs, but they are wolf spiders and they carry their babies on their backs. A whole bunch of them, hundreds. And if they get scared or the babies freak out or for, if you touch them or the babies just pop off the back and they go everywhere and it looks like the spider just exploded and it's, it's freaky. It's like something you would see in like FX, you know, effects in a movie or something. And the first time I saw it, I thought, that's it. I'm in an alternate universe. Somebody has captured me and taken me aboard a spaceship <laughs> because bugs don't explode like that. <laughs> and turn into thousands of other ones, you know? It was like something you would see in like, what's that movie with um, Keanu? Katie? Uh, I don't know. You know that, uh, oh, anyways. You know, they're, they find out that they're like, actually in a, the Matrix, thank you, Jan. <laughs> Yeah, it's like the Matrix. I'm like, I've been taken aboard a spaceship. <laughs> so now we're going to take the brush again and jab it inside our top coat. <laughs> so take this one off, wipe off the sides really, really good so your brush doesn't leak. Or whatever your top coat is, it doesn't have to be the same as mine. And stick your long brush in there. And then we're going to go right on top of our legs with the top coat. You can dump it into your palette if you want to. I just feel like it would be wasting it this time because we don't need tons of it, you know. So we're just going to seal our mica powder. And I'm actually going to use some of this top coat around the edge of my, this part because of the sticky layer on the <clears throat> rhinestone glue, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go around the edge of my body as well with the top coat. Now, I want it to seal the web too, so if you want to use the top coat the same way on the web, I want to do the top coat, but I want to add a little bit of shine to the web as well. But it doesn't have to be like all over the web, do you know what I mean? I didn't erase my pencil marks. Oops. Good girl. Hopefully I don't seal them in here. I'm using this mark, mark. I don't know what that is. Mark. 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 <laughs> it's Merk. It's Merk. <laughs> and it's the coffee color. And Wanda was using Arteza. They're like the same color, pretty much. They And they pretty much look like they work the same. Phyllis, I'm sorry. This was not a scheduled um, live. We do that often when we feel like painting. We jump on just so we can share with you guys. And then... These are always available for re-watching. Re I load it on my YouTube as well. So if you're having trouble finding them on our Facebook page, always check my YouTube channel because I try to upload them there. And then if Katie has, um, you know, done the class or led the class, it's generally 
somewhere on her page or somewhere, you know, she uses them also. So you can find them on our other social media sites as well. But this is my main. I can't use this top coat on the, the spider web. Oh, remember really? Remember that the mica doesn't stick to it. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm so glad you got to take the other one then. <laughs> you did, yeah, you grabbed it, the elixir. Yeah. I wasn't getting out of there without it. <laughs> it's amazing. I you like use it a lot. I do. I make paint with it. I use it to seal things, to glue things, to... I use it to seal my whole rock, too. It's just a great top coat. Hi, Shay. She didn't say hi, but I see that she popped on. Oh, Shay? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Is it okay if I set the legs first before I do the web? Yes, absolutely. I'm going to do the same thing. Set the legs, put the powder on, and then we might, we have to set the powder. again. If you want to use powder on them, you don't have to. I just want to add a little sparkle to my web, you know? I feel like this web needs some more on it. It looks boring. Let's put some rhinestones at the notches. Okay. <clears throat> but we can use if you want you can use top coat you know what i mean and mm -hmm. then add the rhinestones in the top coat layer or you can use you know just top coat and a rhinestone at the corners but we still have to seal this paint somehow so i want to just hit it with a uh, top coat I think I got all my legs. I just got to be careful because I got my pencil on there. I got to get it off. So I'm going to put mine in the big light so I know it's really, really cured. And then erase my pencil and then do the powder. <laughs> and for the powder on that one, I think I just showed you. I'm going to use this, which is like your pearl powder or your shell powder. Uh-huh. But this Which is color is it? Periwinkle glow. So it's like a blue color. Okay. Let me show you on my glove so you can see what it's going to look like. It's just going to be a little blue purple color. And I'm not going to use it all over, just like little spots, you know? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You can also just use a dot of glitter or a glitter pin or a glitter paint. I'm afraid that that would, would be too bright though, wouldn't it? On the web? Yeah. You know that beautiful black glitter? It's got might be pretty. It'd be kind of a pain in the rump, but all right, let me see if I can get this off without making them. Oh, you know what? I have a little micro pen eraser somewhere yes i do yay i need one of those i only have those big white erasers which are awesome but this one's going to come in handy right here but i still think i got some of it under my <laughs> top coat because i'm a ding dong and because i know you're going to ask in just a second there's the name. It's by Tombow. It's an elastomer eraser, an elastomer <laughs> eraser, and it's a clicker. You can raise it. It's like a pen form. So Just make sure before, <laughs> just make sure you erase before you start working. Jeez. 
Don't be me. <laughs> I don't use pencil a lot. I can't stand graphite marks everywhere because I'm a mess with it. That's why I trace everything. But I actually drew. I sketched. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's a day for your calendar. I do pencil a lot. I should have used chalk like I usually use to just wipe off, you know? Okay, hang on, guys. <laughs> Should we put any eyeballs on our spider? Like little rhinestones? On top of the bead or what? Yeah. What do you guys think? Or we could do dots. Mmm. See, they'd be right in there. <laughs> My pencil shows. Okay, just quit tripping, girl. So, do we decide in the corners? Well, I haven't done my web yet. I just now put the top coat on my web. I haven't done any of my web yet. None of it. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. No worries. I think I might use my gel. Because I don't feel like dipping in my bottle. My bottle's almost empty, so I gotta get way in there. <laughs> Let me see here. I just put a tiny drop in my little palette thing here. Yeah. Did I jump ahead of you? I'm sorry. I thought I was. No, you know what? I can't use this. I forgot. Builder Gel's got an inhibition layer that's uh, it's too sticky. I got to use top coat. No, you're fine. I can catch it. All right. I got to get some rhinestones out, though. Do you have yours ready? No. For the corners, right? Is that what we decided? Yeah, that's, that's fine. Do you want colored ones, or? I think we need it. We need some more color. Ooh, okay, so I got red, I got these. You think they're red? Maybe. These are going to be too big. I think they're... The red or even the black would be pretty, huh? I know it's not a color. You're like, no, Wanda, color. <laughs> it's Halloween. I can be you black. black. I, I know. I wear all black and <laughs> it's like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just like black, okay? I'm a strained artist. I wore color yesterday, a shirt that had color on it. It's very bright. Yes, I did good. I was impressed. I was so impressed. <laughs> Thank you.
red. Betty, Betty says yellow. Phyllis says red. Can you see the little bit of shimmer? Pretty, yeah. Hope I'm doing okay for You're you. You're doing beautiful. Gorgeous. My spider is kind of wonky, but. So is mine. <laughs> Mine's more wonky than yours. <laughs> Let me see what I can find for crystals. You know, we could put crystals on the knees of the spider and then maybe do some something else in the web to make it, maybe do like a bug. You want to make a fly or something? <laughs> <laughs> we could make one out of rhinestones. Blow your roll. What else would be in a spider's web? We could put some fruit. Fruit? <laughs> <laughs> I have some fruit beads. Oh, that's right. I was like, okay, we have a vegetarian spider, yeah. I have my mask on, Dini. I'm wearing the small ones. You guys can hear one of us. Is this the one you had out? Yeah. Do we have butterflies? I don't. We have little crystal butterflies, I think. Let me see what I got in here. I have, what, is this a butterfly or is that a crown? I can't tell. It's a bow, oh. but it would be cute. It kind of looks like a butterfly. I don't know if I have any butterflies. I don't think I do. Poor butterflies. What should we put in the web, guys? I have a tiara. <laughs> well, hey, we could put a tiara on our spider. And a crown. Which box? What? Oh, which box, Dini, of rhinestones are you talking about? I have like a million out here. I know. I, could, I do have some bows. That might the be problem kind of with the rhinestones, Dini, is we <laughs> they're random, so you just they come in sets of like ungodly amounts of things. So you just gotta look around on Amazon for nail rhinestones and then get this a one right here is a mixture of Wanda. She shared hers with me and what happened is they were divided up until they all fell out in my drawer. So now it's just a big conglomeration of stuff. 
I have some shells, some seashells. So it'll be a coastal spider. Or we could do just a maybe. A what? Just some AB crystals. Yeah, that'd be cute. Those are the bigger ones, right? Well, this is a mixture of different sizes. Oh, those are beautiful, though. Something, one of my lights is curing my gel. You guys might notice that when you're working with the UV top coat or resins, that your actual light above you is curing your your product, you know, <laughs> that you're working with, because all light has UV in it. But some, some light I have on here is curing my top coat. I'm I have a, a turtle, a dolphin, <laughs> an owl. That's hilarious. Oh, that's right. The those are the seas right the charms yeah i have a cat <laughs> you put a cat in there it's halloween <laughs> but i don't have a bee someone was asking if i had a bee i have a bee but it's huge <laughs> i mean it's huge it'd be like i have a really dragonfly big. but it's big too no that would work i think that's cute or no a you, can add, you can add rhinestones to the dragonfly and bling it out <laughs> yeah do that <laughs> he's caught she caught a marijuana leaf in her web <laughs> now she's just happy <laughs> and hungry yeah she got a monkey There's a big, huge wooden bird. <laughs> Cute. Okay, I think I got all the web. So we're curing that, right? Huh? We're curing the web, right? And then, pow oh, I got to still do the powder. <laughs> I, I didn't just I didn't put anything on top of the, um, what's to call it? On top of the powder on the web, I haven't put anything yet. Okay. I'm curing that for 30 seconds and trying to clean up my top coat. It's everywhere. I don't want it on me. Oh, I found a butterfly in this little. Yay! The crystal. Oh, yay! That's perfect. Yay, yay, yay. I don't know where my little pot of those are. I had them in a little side dish over here. Got no idea. Got any ideas where they went? <laughs> Golly, I have no idea. Hey, this rhinestone is a skull head. Is a what? A skull head. Oh yeah, that's right. I had I gave that one to you. I used one of those last year on one of my sugar skulls. I only had two. Well, I don't want to waste it on this, then. 
Oh, put it anywhere you want. It'd be cool on the spider somewhere. I was just thinking, like, in this gaunt in the middle. Cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. Okay, so, oh, yeah, I got to do that thing here real quick. This is the mica powder. I'm just adding a little bit of it to the web. Okay, nice. I like that. It's still black, but yet in the light we get it shine, you know, like shows up. Yeah. All right. So in the corners, did we decide on bigger colors, littler colors? I don't think we decided. <laughs> Okay, then. I have one little butterfly rhinestone. I I don't know where my um, charms are. They are in my egg. I bet they're with your rhinestones. Oh yep. You put them in the side. Yay! <laughs> Thanks. This cup right here. Cool beans. Okay, so I have this one. One butterfly. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Hello. I don't know how I ever, ever managed with rhinestones before this tool. <laughs> Honestly, see, I have this butterfly. See, oh, yeah, that one's pretty. So, I'll put that. Of course, she's I should have put her facing the other way, huh? I'm a dingling. And then, what do we got in here? Dumped out. <laughs> oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm a total mess over here. <laughs> Ooh. 
which big jewels were you asking about, Betty? Is it the head of the spider? I don't see the dragonfly. Hmm. Ready then. The body, we made the body. Yeah, that's a pendant, a bezel pendant. We painted it and used resin. And we made we the hole. Now my butterfly is gone. <laughs> I just dumped it somewhere. Oh well, that was short lived. I'll never find it on the floor. <clears throat> I have something in here, right? Ah, I have the dragonfly. Yay. Oh, do you have this one? The dragonfly? Mm -mm. But it's okay. Put what you want on yours. Oh, I have a spider. <laughs> you do too. You have a little spider. I do? Yeah, it's like this. I think I gave you two of them. I'm going to put that in the middle. He got babies. Or if I got more in here, then you didn't want them, but I don't. So you have some some more. And these are from Lonnie. Thank you. I could put an angel in there or a fairy. But it's not in here. I ended up with a lot of fish stuff, like, you know, island stuff. Hmm. Okay, that's enough of that. I'm not going to go no, no more. Okay. I think I'm going to just use these two. But to get this off, um, take your pliers either. If you have some flat heads, grab your flat heads. Just rock it back and forth. It'll usually pop up on the first or second rock. Boom, boom, like that. See, it comes right off there. Stop it, focus. Yay. Hi, Cynthia. Same with our spider. And then if you have a file, like just a regular nail file, like this, you can file off those uh, sharp edges around, see the butt, around <laughs> my spider butt. Okay. So I think I'm gonna put the spider in the middle and the dragonfly over here somewhere. Yeah? That's enough, I think. And then, um, so you're gonna, you're using the ABs? I think they're yeah. so pretty. Yeah. Do you have these bicone ABs? Um, what are they? Um, I don't think I have those. I have some pearls, different colored pearls. 
No worries. I think I'm just going to put these, like these things in the corners of the web. Which corners? Just in like what you're doing. Oh. But I'm going to use the color, like these black ones. Oh. Instead. Cool. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I have colored ones. I'm all, they're black anyways. You, <laughs> you always I'm, pop out with something I don't have. I don't know. That, that doesn't look very good, huh? The black cones. Well, you just can't see it very well, but. No, yeah. You might yeah. see it, you know, in person better. Nah. We use these. I got plentifuls of these. Or the red ones. The little red ones. They're so tiny, though, the little red ones. They're little bitty. Yeah. What do you think, though? Oh, that's pretty. Cool. Now I wish I used red. Uh oh. So, what are you using to apply them? Top coat? Yeah. Cool. Oh, man. Okay. Disposable eyeliner brush. Tool. Stones. And your whatever glue you decided to use, top coat, rhinestone glue, bondic. So it's like soldering. I thought you were gonna say fondant. Fondant. Or fondant. <laughs> so I'm gonna put on some and then cure it, and then put on some more and then cure it. I'm putting that spider here in the middle, so I'm going to just put some there. I don't know if I'm hearing thunder or some jerk revving his engine. I think it's thunder. I know we're 40 miles apart, but I'm hearing some major stuff going on out there. <laughs> we get lots of uh, revving engines and um, peeling out because we have speed bumps but they like to peel out from one to the other gotcha that's silly oh yeah it's very silly i have a hard time remembering what young was like <laughs> was i ever cool i don't think so and they kill their cars going over those speed bumps because some of them don't even stop Seriously. Hi, Deborah. Yeah, that's definitely thunder. I'll use blue on the knees on the spider. Jan, that's a good idea. A knee knocker. Yeah. Yup, yup, yup. Look, I'll show ya. These are cured enough. I'm gonna get these big pretty ones though. Right there. That's beautiful. Thank you, Jan, for the idea. Do I need to do that? Look, I'll show you. Look how pretty they are on the knee joints. Oh, yeah. It kind of gets rid of that look you don't like, too. The big notchy at the knee, the, what is it, grasshopper? What do you call it? Grasshoppers or? Grasshopper legs. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> no, I just said hello, Deborah. Hello, Deborah. Or I, maybe someone else asked you a question. It was not me. Okay, back to soldering. <laughs> Say my name, say my name. I love it. If I get thrown out, we'll know why. Because <laughs> I was singing. <laughs> uh, that's a cover. I don't think. Look at all the covers on everywhere. Everybody yeah. sings. I don't know why that's allowed, you know, and then we can't play music. Yeah, it none of it makes sense. So what you put a blue bead on the knees? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that just the bee's knees? <laughs> oh, chocolate. Betty, you're right. It's chocolate time. I got oh, it. Oh, man. Got it. You didn't give me chocolate. Dove. Okay. I just picked one up. I got a pile over there. It's either Dove, Reese's, or Rolo. <laughs> I got no chocolate. <gasps> Katie. See what it says. I'm trying not to get glue in it. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's perfect. Can you read it? Compliment someone, you'll feel better than they do. That is the ultimate kindness uh, wrapper. Yep. Someone make a kindness rock that says that. Go, Lindsay from Indiana. <laughs> Love, Dove. I love Godiva more, but I can't afford it all the time. <laughs> Oh, Godiva is mm -hmm. awesome. I don't know if they still have them, but they used to have these creme, creme brulee. Um, uh oh, I can't remember. What are those things called? <laughs> the chocolates that are filled? Um, Truffles? Yes. Oh my God. The best. Oop, I did that backwards.
Here comes the rain again. Falling on my head like a new emotion. Oh no, I got that song. Here comes the rain again. Yeah, I have a habit of putting songs in people's heads. Thanks, Katie. Uh huh. <laughs> Anytime. It is pouring here right now. I don't hear the rain. I just hear lots of thunder. Like, it does sound like a raceway out there. Like, a whole bunch of cars are revving their engines. It's tornado season. <laughs> Thankfully, we don't get that problem a lot here. Not like North Texas. Right. No, when we get it, we get it bad every once in a while. Yep. Like, Dean got hit a few years ago right next to the school. Like, went right through the field. Thankfully, it just took out some outbuildings and a couple of barns. I live out. I don't live in the country per se, but we still have a lot of country around us. You know what I mean? It's uh, cornfields everywhere. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, uh, housing suburbia, and then cornfield next door on the side and in the front. <laughs> it's so weird. It's like we live in the middle of a cornfield. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like the farmers selling a little bit at a time, you know? They are. I I don't feel like they want to be selling it and they're being forced and it's just killing me. Yeah, we have cotton fields around us and there's signs that say for sale. Oof. But we're Maybe. right on I-35, so. Yeah. You know, that's prime property. Yep. Hi, Kim. My comments are really delayed. You keep saying hi to people that aren't showing on mine. Well, maybe mine are delayed. Holy no. It's just turning out so much more awesome. Or is it awesomer? <laughs> awesomer. It's awesomer. Mm. Blinging spider in a web. <laughs> Yeah, we aren't politically correct in here with our words. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a little bit. We might drive people crazy doing that, but... <laughs> well, if that's all I it takes... 
I call them Katie isms. Oh. <laughs> I call them brain fog ism. No. <laughs> no, I purposely do it. Oh. Not because of brain fog, but just because I don't want to be like the norm. Ah. I got you. And it drives the people crazy that like to tell you used words wrong and spell things wrong. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's why I do it. Because I do what I want. My husband, Dini, used to be all about, like, spelling everything right and saying the right thing and all that. And then he met me. Oh, and I bust the system. And eventually, like, he gets mad when I, I'll purposely say things that drive him crazy. <laughs> and uh, he's used to it now that it doesn't even faze him. I wish I could remember the word I just said the other day, and he was like, no, <laughs> don't say that. I can't remember what word it was. Yes, I cured him for sure. There was, there was no uh, <laughs> telling me what I was saying was wrong anymore. She's a rebel. Yeah. No, I need to put the thing on there first and then cure dummy. <laughs> I think I think he chilled out, like he wasn't uptight anymore. Good thing he can't hear me and he has his earphones in. <laughs> but he would probably just say yep trickerism huh Sorry, I'm off the uh, camera. <laughs> Trying to do a little bit on the sides here so it doesn't look so strange, you know? Um, Betty, I get the black gloves on Amazon, and they're um, nine mil. I don't think it says nine mil on my box, but they're definitely thick. They're, um, I think it's like $17 for a hundred. They're a little expensive, but if you have trouble with allergies, the blue gloves, you know, they're not chemical safe, so they're helpful, and if you... If they work for you, that's great, but they don't work for me because everything goes through them. And I was having so much trouble with the uh, breakthrough allergy attacks on my hands. So this solved the problem. And now I just barely wear any band-aids. If you guys haven't noticed, my problems are curing up, clearing up. I noticed, I noticed that you didn't have band-aids on and how nice your hands looked. <laughs> Yay. 
Thank you. <laughs> I know I actually have skin on my finger. <laughs> yep. These are mediums, right? Yeah. They're a little snug on my hands. I must have chubbier hands than you do, but I'm afraid large might be too big. Yeah, these are, they're snug um, on the fat part of my fingers, but loose on <laughs> the ends. Does that make sense? Like, see, yeah. they're loose out there, but um, they're kind of snug around, see, around the fatter parts here. So when I bend them, they feel tight. But it's not a bad, it doesn't feel bad to me. Does it feel bad to you? Uh, the they're blue, a little snug, but, the, but I'm, I deal with it. The blue ones were horribly tight on me. Are we going to do anything else to this or are we done? I don't know. I forgot to put my dragonfly on here. Where'd you put yours? <laughs> I didn't put my dragonfly on. Oh. It didn't really go with my other colors. Well, I have my brass or bronze or whatever color this is, spider here, so it might work. Okay. You want some treats? Come on. Eh, we'll leave it off. <laughs> my little spider and big spider. I don't know, it needs something here, yeah? Do we want to do eyeballs? I stuck mine under the light real quick just to make sure everything was set. Yeah, my little stones are moving. I gotta get it under there in a second, but I feel like I want some eyeballs or something on the spider. Don't you think? If you want to, yeah. I don't know. Yep. What is, look, look, where did this come from? <laughs> where did you come from? Phyllis, it's really up to you on your sensitivity to stuff. I think the nine mil are going to be your best bet, but don't waste your five mil. Go ahead and use those up. Yeah, if you're not having issues, definitely <laughs> use them. Danny's saying that it's weird not foiling anything. I know, right? Someone told me that too about my uh, rock that that I just did uh, for the Friday the 13th rock. I didn't use any foil on that. And they're like, no foil? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, there's other things too in life. I, what? No, there's <laughs> not. What are you talking about? The foil lady can't say that. <laughs> That's funny. I'm sorry. Now you're labeled, aren't you? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's all your fault. <laughs> Poor Katie. Expectations, darling. Hey, Doni. I use a rhinestone picker. That's what it's called. Ooh, red eyeballs. And you want to get this one. That one I got this one finally because I was frustrated with what I was using. And it's wonderful. Yeah. It sure does make life easier than trying to pick them up with dang tweezers. Oh my gosh. I don't even, seriously, like I said earlier, no, I don't know how to find it. Go on. Go. Oh, Lorraine. Well, you're in Lorraine's the right a newbie. <laughs> Yay. Lots and lots of good stuff. If you haven't found it yet, I have, oh, see, there comes another rhinestone coming off in my hand. Um, I have an introduction to foils on my YouTube channel. It's on uh, here on Facebook too, but it's easy to find on the YouTube channel. What is going on here? Where did you come from? I do not know. Okay, I'm going to put it in my light so that they quit popping off all over me. I gotta plow a road to the light over here. <laughs> Yay. Ooh. Ooh, this rain is making me tired. 
They're what? Oh, yeah. Having the rain in the background, it's like lulling me to sleep over here. Yes. Oh, you know, that's why I listen to that every night on YouTube. I turn on, if you guys are ever having trouble sleeping, grab some headphones, turn YouTube, look for sleep music, um, thunder and lightning, and then look for ones that say black screen because it'll turn your screen off, but it'll give you the sound and little flashes of light. Oh my gosh, it's the best. It's like sleeping. I have a thunderstorm here every night. We're finally getting rain here. It's been a while. Yeah, we got rain a couple of days ago, and then it was dry for a day. And now we're getting big storms. It's going to go all the way through till Friday, right? Yeah. Yep. I'm hoping for some cooler weather because it's been hot and so humid you can't even breathe outside. Now what? I don't know. Somebody said red eyes. What else do you guys want to see on here? Anything? Or are we good? We should do some eyes, huh? It sure is pretty. I like um, yours more. I know I like yours more. <laughs> I like your um your bling bling is pretty. I like your um yes the eyes. Yes, red eyes. Okay. So we got two votes, three votes for red eyes. How many eyes should we put on there? You know, spiders have lots of eyes. <clears throat> I'll see how many I could fit on here. They have them all around their head or what? All around the front of their face. I don't know. Some have eight, some have four, some have six. I don't know. Some have 502. Try to do eight. How about that? Okay, so I have eight on here. Now let's see if I can make them look like. There, like that. <laughs> yep, I put eight on there. Yay. But there are other, there are spiders that have different, uh, I mean, more or less. Now I got to show you guys a picture. I'm going to look it up on my iPad and show you guys the exploding spider. And then we're going to be done. Exploding wolf spiders. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, my ring light. Let me see if I can get it here. So, we are doing a Google search, or I don't know what kind of search we're searching here. Oh, yep, it's Google. <laughs> pregnant spider, not pregnant, just carrying babies. It's funny. Oh, it's on Facebook. How funny. Cool. Lisa, what? What in the heck? What? Oh, it's a spider with a ton of freaking babies on it. Oh, please don't That's cuss. What it is. Please don't cuss. Yeah, see, there goes one right there. Watch, watch. See it? Yeah, there's a bunch of little babies. Please don't hurt the spider. <gasps> see all the babies go? Shikes. That won't get us featured on Lively, but there are going to be some guys. <laughs> Welcome to Exploding Spiders in Texas. <laughs> Holy shnikes, he says. <laughs> Pretty crazy, right? Mm hmm. All right. No, thank you. Put your, put your spider up here so we can show off our faces. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with us. This was totally fun. Thanks for letting me explore my spider. Katie, beautiful, gorgeous. Yay. I'm sorry, Phyllis. <laughs> See, look at these beauties. Now you don't have to worry. But that's what my spider was, my in spider. My spider was inspired by the exploding wolf spider. That's what all of this is about. So, you know, when you're afraid of something, education, learning about it, takes a lot of the fear out of it. So whatever bugs I'm afraid of, I learn a lot about them and then I don't have to be afraid of them anymore. Like wolf spiders bite, but only if you get into their business. Otherwise they're just out of your way. They don't want to be around you. So the beautiful wolf spider y'all. And they don't live in webs. Like I said, that's just my little Halloween part. <laughs> So, okay, good night, have fun, enjoy, and we will see you on Friday. Thanks for talking me into painting. <laughs> Thank you for painting. Good night, y'all. Night.